Hi fellow traders, I hope everybody had a great day today in the market. Another fun day, another big sell-off day. Another day TVIX frustrated me. It did not trade clean enough for me to make money like I wanted to, but hey, that's, that's the way it is in this trading game. But, you know, I, I want this statement to resonate with you guys. I want it to get deep down inside and resonate. You know, you can't realize a million dollar dream with the minimum wage mindset. Okay, too many people get into this trying to figure out how to do shortcuts, how to do it the fastest, the quickest way. That's not going to happen. Okay, it, it doesn't work that way. If you don't come into this ready and willing to put in the work needed to be successful, you got a minimum wage mindset. And you need to stay at your minimum wage job. It's just that simple. Now, some of you may have $100,000 a year minimum wage jobs. But if you compare it to what you can make, if you put your mind to, the, to this, it's a minimum wage job. And everybody has the ability. That Everybody has the tools. All that matters is, are you going to be willing to tap into that? And you're going to do what you have to do in order to bring everything that you need to the surface. And some of us is going to take longer than others. Some of us is going to be harder. But hey, you know, it's going to be worth it if you do it. So 2019 will be mine. You got to say that. 2019 will be mine. That's our year. 2019 is our year. And if we've been struggling for a year or two or three years and we haven't really got to that next level, I'm going to get you there this year. You got to follow me. You got to believe in what I do and what I say because I've done it. I've helped other people do it. But you got to put the work in. It's, it's just that simple. I wish you could pay me and I could just pour it inside of you. But it's not that easy. If it was if it was that easy, everybody would be trading. So it takes a special person. You guys have already taken that first leap. You're you're looking and moving toward achieving your goals. So why not give it your all? All right. So let's take a look at today. Uh, another sell-off day in the spot. Everybody was expecting a bounce. You know, I thought we may get a little bounce before we started selling off, and we did. Really nice sell-off day. Um, you know, the question is, how far are we going to go? That's the question on everybody's mind. You know, when is the buying going to start coming in? When is the market going to catch up with itself? Um, nobody knows. You just have to trade what you see. Trade the price action. You know, we as independent day traders, we don't have the clout or the funding to move the market. We don't. Other people do. So we can't be first. They can be first. But we can be smarter. And that's what we're relying on. So, you know, just keep that in mind. That's what we're going to be working on throughout all next year is, is being smarter. Understanding what these guys are doing and then using what they do to our advantage. That's what this is all about. And you'll see what I'm talking about on the earnings trade I did today. All right, so this morning, if you were in the uh, live stream this morning, you got to see exactly what we do. Um, every strategy that I teach, that's what I trade every day. Now, there are different ways or different approaches depending on the market and the stock that you're trading. That's what you learn. That's where experience comes in. That's why it's important that you are able to see me trade it real time and ask questions as to why I did this and why I did that so you can understand exactly what I'm doing. Um, here's a stock here we were looking at for our five-minute opening range low breakdown right <clears throat> okay here's a stock this triggered 
But guess what? What happened to us yesterday? We jumped on this when it broke, and then it just jumped up on MU, right? So we didn't do that. We waited. We let it work itself out. It rejected up here on the 9, and it pulled back. Now, I would have gotten it up here, but the conference call on this started at 10 o'clock. And I don't like being in a trade full size during the conference call or when the conference call started. I'll wait five or 10 minutes after the call. And if I don't see any crazy price action, then I'll get in. And that's what happened. That's exactly what we talked about. So uh, we got in and this thing just kind of hung around for a while. It hung around, but it, it never did push up. It never did stress us out. It was just a matter of being patient and allowing the trade to work. So my first target was a five minute opening range low, which was right here around 51.12. I put it out at 51.15, I believe. Yep. Yeah. And got hit there. And this really wasn't going anywhere. So I said, okay, 50.75 was gonna be my next target. But it wasn't doing much, so I just took some more off there so I wouldn't be sitting here watching this. As soon as I took it off, look at what it did. Beautiful stair step down to 50. That was my target. And it actually went down. To, I think it made a low of, what, 49, 40s or something that it got down to. I mean, it was, it was a beautiful, you know, beautiful trader. I lost a, a little bit of actually for what 48.90. God dog. It really got down there. But you know, here's me. This was my target. I got the meat of this move. I felt pretty good about it. Now I did set up later. Um did set up for another um trend continuation entry, but you know, I didn't I didn't take it. I didn't really have faith in it. It was on SSR, short sale restrictions, so I just let it go. But still, really nice trade, $214 on 300 shares in our small account on a nice, easy, stress-free trade. Only thing it tested was your patience, and that shouldn't have agitated you. Um, but if you want to go back and watch the live stream, you know, this was a kind of a slow, boring thing, but look at how we approach the day. You know, what my thoughts were going into the day and how we approached it. You know, all of that helps you as you're starting to learn and develop into your own um, trading style. All right, so TVIX, I had all kind of trouble with this. I just could not catch it to save my life. And I always miss the first run up. I'm always saying, you know, I'm going to wait. But this time I went to lunch. I did not think the market was going to sell off and give me this move on TVIX at lunch. I didn't. So I left my laptop, didn't even look at the market. I walk in the door, sit down, and the damn thing is gone. I missed the move. And then, you know, I waited and I tried to trade this. This wasn't really a pullback. So this was kind of a FOMO trade here, fear of missing out. Um, did cover some here. Never did get to my next target. Got out break even. Got the pullback. A late entry here. Should have gotten in on this candle. And had I got in on this candle, this would have been a decent, decent trade. Would have never got stopped out. And, you know, would have been holding on up through here, but uh, bad entry and got profit, stopped out, got in here and just kind of held through this, this pullback. We never broke the low of this candle. So this trade was never in jeopardy. Um, got profit here. As soon as I took profit, what did it do? Came back and stopped me out of break even, my entry. So at that time, I said the hell was with trading this TVIX. You know, it's just not clean like it should be. You know, we're not getting, you know, if it did this over here, 
everything would have been fine. We didn't get it, so I just left it alone. And yeah, there was more opportunity, but I was done with it. But who the hell needs TVIX when you got NKE? Now, I, I told you guys after I got done with NKE, I said, you know, we're going to check out. I mean, after we got done with TVIX, we're going to check out NKE on earnings. Um, only two people PM me and asked me about this. You know, and those two guys nailed this. I don't know if anybody else did. I haven't heard from anybody else. But we were looking at this. Let me see if I can find a daily chart. Y'all give me one second. Let me get log back in here. Let me look at a daily chart on NKE real quick. All right, so here's a daily chart on NKE. You see how they sold it off into earnings. This is kind of what big money does. They'll sell these off into earnings, buy it down here, and what they do is they sell it into strength, into all the guys that are coming in buying because of it beating earnings and they're coming in buying, big money is selling into you guys. So once I learned that trick, that's the same thing I've been using all summer and, you know, all up until now. I don't get to do this every day. You know, I talk, we talked about two or three earnings trades this week. Um, but between three and four, I have to pick my kid up. And... If I'm not in a position at the right time to where I'm stopped or I can pull over, I can't mess with the trade. I just miss it. And, you know, I have to be good with that. I can't come in and rush and, and take hits. I can't do that. So, you know, the strategy, I teach it. The classes are posted there for you guys that are members. It tells you exactly how I find these, how I determine which direction I want to trade it, all of that stuff. Plus, I'm there to answer your questions. So, you know, you have the ability to trade this. This is not a hard thing to do. It just takes time and prep work. But once you, you know, figure that out, it's easy it's easy to spot these. You just have to do a little bit of leg work um, at night and watch it the next day. And if it does what you're looking for it to do and the market agrees, you trade it. It's just that simple. We don't trade it with big size. Um, no, we don't need to. So NKE, let me bring this down was really nice but got in um, right here right after the close if you wait too late this was right at the close I mean I almost missed it but I had to wait till I got stopped in another spot where I could you know get in but um, you can't wait until you get over here if you wait what's gonna happen is the spreads are going to be so bad. It could be a dollar, two dollars, and you won't be able to make any money off of it. You know, so you have to get in ahead of time. So you have to have done all your work, you know, have your conviction as to what's going to happen. This sold off all day, just like I thought it would. Started pushing up and messing around toward the close. This is where people are positioning themselves. You had people thinking this was going to tank. You had thinking people thinking this was going to go up. Um, Nike has been doing excellent. If you've been following the news, you know they've been doing excellent. And you have people that use their personal feelings, like they may not like that Nike partnered with Kaepernick and did you know, that promotion, 
you know, people may not like him because of his politics or whatever, and they're like, I'm going to short this. <clears throat> they're the fool. You know, you can't bring your personal stuff in there. You got to read this and learn exactly what makes these things move. So really nice, you know, who needs um, TVIS? Who needs it? We made 766.29, you know, hitting my targets. Here we jumped over my target a little bit, um, which was great, about 25 cents. We got that. Um, I got it a little early here. I got a little nervous up here. I uh, didn't think we were going to hit the 20, but that was my next target. My final target was the 200, which was just over around 74.50. But we never got there. I left, you know, some shares on to see if we were going to get there. And, you know, we just ended up pulling back. It is recovering a little bit now, I believe. But I'm not going to hold overnight and show a trader. You guys know why I don't do that and why I don't advocate that. So I had to be out by 6. And we just clicked it. So a uh, really, really nice day. Really nice day. Uh, 1069.17. This is our small account. I know it's got about eight grand in it now, but we started with $1,000 this summer. And we took small wins. You saw it grow. You saw me hit roadblocks. You saw me go through challenges. <clears throat> you guys got to see this real time as it happened. You know, you don't have to go back and guess whether this actually happened or not you saw it if you were there in chat you saw it um if you weren't you got to feel the wrath the next day but <clears throat> that's what we do guys that's what we do um every day i try to teach you i try to, to be an example um You know, I, I can't do anything else. I'm, I give you my all. All right, so here's my day started out really crappy. And I want to say another word, but I can't. You know, I was holding another. I took some apple off yesterday. I was holding this, looking for the sell-off today. So in the morning, I give it about two and a half point stop from where we opened. And which I think was feasible. And because I didn't want to watch it, I needed to focus on the day trading. We were doing a live stream. So, you know, right at the open, I went and put in my stop. I told you guys where I was putting it. And damn, if the thing didn't run up 10 cents above my stop, took me out, and then tanked. Came all the way down to 155. Now, I, you know, luckily I was live streaming or else I might have lost it. I might have really lost it because this is enough to really piss you off. Okay. I wasn't thinking I was being too conservative. I was like, okay, if we get up $2.50, this market's going to have a pretty strong bounce and it may not sell off today. It may not do what I want it to do. But it went up, stopped me out. Um, oh, I, I did have some, I did try to take some trades on TBIX in this account too, just to get in and hold it, but it didn't work out that well either. Um, so I may, I may have made four, five hundred dollars on that TBI. It just, TBIX wasn't working at all for me today. So this is what I ended up with in a big account. Only $100 more in an account that's $100,000 more than what I got in my small account. So that's not very good. So I didn't have a really good day today. Um, and it all started with this Apple. All right, but that's it. That's my day. Uh, I'm going to go finish cooking my fish tacos. My family... Is going to be waiting for him. So you guys have a great night. Great evening. 
And if I don't talk to any more of you guys um, before the holidays, you know, have a, a very Merry Christmas. Enjoy this weekend. I know a lot of people are going to start traveling tomorrow. So you guys be safe and have a great holiday.